guys, it's Fulkeis here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City, let's go, go, go. So in front of me today, 1998-1999, Be A Player Playoff Edition. I've never opened up this rendition or this version, so it will be quite an immersion. So it's the gold box, not the silver box. I've opened up the other stuff. I always paid about $75 for those other boxes. This was $150. So configuration, four cards for pack 12, packs for box 48 cards total. We should receive an auto per pack. There's also the gold. Gold autos, the silver short print autos numbered to 450, I believe. Gold short prints numbered to 50. Game worn jerseys numbered to 100. Auto game worn jerseys to 10. Highlights randomly inserted, all kinds of stuff. There are Mario's in this product, which is interesting. I believe there's all star game jersey autos and Penn's jersey autos. So apparently they do have some inserts, but they're super, super rare to hit those ones. I know for a fact that there's actually a practice worn jerseys, but they call practice worn jerseys. So that's interesting as well. So let's pop it open. And in the practice worns, oh my God. So it's kind of brown gold looking. This is so interesting. First time opening up the non silver version of this stuff. I know there's a Wayne Gretzky and Matt Sandin, um, who else? I know there's a Ray Bork, a Korea in those practice worn jerseys. I think Mikey Moe's in there, uh, Eddie Eagle's in there. So should be interesting. Although I think those are probably really hard to hit. I never hit game ones in this stuff, but I do hit the autos per pack and for sure we hit gold autos. So this is our first pack. I mean, very foily. And here we go, guys. We have an insert to start us off here. This is interesting. So the cards are sticking, and there's our auto, and there's our insert. Let's start it off with our insert. Why not? And it looks to be a Yarrow Yager. Look at that. So this is why they call it the Playoff Series Edition. A Yarrow Yager die cut cup card. Now that's how you start off a box. That's glorious. All right, so let's see if we can get through these fairly quickly as they have been sticking. All right, so there's Blake and there is Talus, and we do have a Zhitnik to start us off on the autos front. First auto is Zhitnik. That's decent, decent, decent. All right, so Smolinski. Man, these are hard to read. There's Mark Messi, the moose. I'm sure his auto is a short print, has to be. Travis Green. And we have, oh, a Bobby Carpenter auto. That is great. That is the Bobby Carpenter auto. We see it in SP Legends all the time, a long time uh, cap, of course. And we do have a Ricci Gold. So these are pretty thick cards, actually. Very thick cards. So Be A Player is, in fact, IGG, and they struck an agreement or they produced uh, devoted cards to the... Um, NHL PA, right? That was the idea behind that. And I think for a couple of years, they did not have the logo rights, even though they were produced by Upper Deck at one point. So continuing on, trying to unglue these, of course. We have Freddie Olison, uh, Peter Nedved. And what is this? We have, these are really hard to read. There's Rob Ray. Oh, and Eddie the Eagle, but he is not the auto, unfortunately. So Eddie the Eagle, and this is our auto. And it's Dallas Drake. So we have a Dallas Drake auto. I mean, how nice are these old school autos? They're just so clearly drawn so diligently. I've said that before. I always bring up Bellavo and LaFleur, particularly Bellavo. I mean, Bellavo's auto was so glamorous. Man, are these sticking, it's such an issue. So there's Thomas Holmstrom, I mean, all really decent names. There is the Fitzpatrick um, Gold, and we do have a have auto, and it's Martin Ruzinski, the infamous Martin Ruzinski, involved in the Patrick Wah trade. It was Kovalenko, Ruzinski, and Thibaut for Keane and uh, Patrick Wah. There, I got that straightened out. Uh, Probably the most infamous trade in Habs history, or certainly one of them. Definitely top three. Uh, particularly because Patrick went on to win two more cups and another con smite. So we have Steve Duchesne and we have a Dallas Drake gold. The golds are really nice. Uh, Kamensky, as well as the, what is that? Gisarov, Alexei Gusarov. And who, and we do have a gold here and another gold auto and unbelievably it is Peter Ferraro. I thought it was going to be Ray Ferraro for a second, but it's Peter Ferraro, right? Does anybody know whether he's related to, um, to Ray Ferraro? I do not know. 
I know some things, but I certainly don't know that. Okay, so there's Nikki Lidstrom. These are super hard to read, man. It's a bit of a problem. And there is our auto once again, and it is the Alexei Gusarov, okay. Uh, Scott Young, as well as Milan Hayduk. This is Milan Hayduk's rookie card, for what it's worth. There's supposed to be nine true rookies within the set, including that one, of course. I think the Parish is a rookie card and the Caverlea rookie card, so I've hit them before. And the middle card seems to always be the auto. Okay, so there's Mike Ricci. Uh, Scott Walker. There's Stefan Fissette. That is a very cool Stefan Fissette card. And we have Steve Shields. So who is our auto? Let's just see who our auto is here. And it is a Brune. And it's Jason Allison. That's a solid one. I'll take that. Interesting looking auto as well. Looks like it says mail. <laughs> I don't think it says mail, but it has his number in it, which is something I always appreciate. And there's the Steve Shields. Would be nice to hit a short print. We still have four more packs after this one. And as I said, the middle one seems to be the auto. So we have a Dallas Drake. We have the Desjardins. Love to see his auto for sure. Bob Probert, is he the auto? I don't think so. Let's just see who the, this is. No, it's not the auto, unfortunately. He, I think, died on his boat, didn't he, at age 50? So behind the Rob Brown is our auto. Who would be card 188 is the question. And it's Sandus Oslich. That is a solid one on your... Stanley Cup winners. I'll take a Sandy Osley. There is just a pile of junk to the right of me here. So we're running out of space and runway for a big name auto, right? There's the brother Beret, as well as Scotty Niedemeyer, the brother Niedemeyer for that matter. Uh, Bill Muckelt. And which one of these, the, the congratulations is that one. So behind the Craig Berube, Craig Berube. Let's just see who's card in 158. I have no idea. Should have. And it is the Robert Tallis uh, auto. Okay. Uh, I mean, I collect goalies, but that's a pretty obscure one. Albeit, uh, he is the goalie coach of the Florida Panthers, or has been for a long time, even though he's only played some 100 games in the NHL. So that's interesting. All right. How about a Johnny LeClaire auto? That would suit me perfectly. There's uh, Jeff Bukabu, one of the best hockey names ever. We have a Jeff Sanderson, and this one is not the auto. So we did not hit the Todd Bertuzzi auto. I have a lot from this set, by the way. So who is our auto? We'll spin it around. And it's Robert Lang. Uh, didn't he play on the Habs for a hot minute? Uh, yeah, man. So that's a solid one. He was decent. I think he was on Detroit too, wasn't he? He's on quite a few teams, but definitely on the Habs for like four, 45 minutes. Okay, last two packs. We are running out of runway. Okay, so there's the Peter Ferraro again. We hit the gold of Bobby Dulles. Dulles, and there is the Zhitnik, second Zhitnik, and we have a Mirnov. So once again, our auto. Let's see who it is. This is always so interesting. And it's the Milan Hey Duke. So we just hit the Milan Hey Duke rookie auto. So that's great. It's probably the best rookie hit you can hit in this particular set, his auto version. I guess the gold would be even better. So is this heavy enough to be um, one with one of those inserts? Although I have to say our first insert in our first pack was probably our best hit uh, thus far with the Yager. I mean, I don't know. All these cards are nominal. They're old school cards. So let's see who we can hit here. Oh my God, another Jitnik? I mean, is it our third Jitnik? That's so wrong. Uh, I can't even see who that is. Oh, that's Marinov. And this is Rob Brendamore. There's Coach Brendamore. So behind the Baumgartner, the Ken Baumgartner, this is our last one. What number is it? Is it a number we've seen yet? Can we guess who this is? Can you guys guess who this is? Let's see, the corner doesn't look great down there. Oh, it's the Bertuzzi. Are you kidding me? Is it a gold or is it a silver? And it is a silver. So there you go. Uncle Todd, Uncle Todd. Actually, it doesn't look bad. I don't think it does look up back You know what, it's because I think it moved to the, car, the other card. So he does have his number in it too. He has the 44 in it, although he's not wearing number 44, <laughs> which is funny too. That is great. That is great. That's very cool. 
So that's basically it guys, awesome box of this stuff. And I just noticed something I didn't notice during the break. Maybe it was turned around. We hit an error card of Todd Bertuzzi decapitated, slightly totally decapitated, which is slightly ironic. The fact that he'd lose his head. I mean, what? That's weird. So uh, some decent, you know, mostly semi-stars, I'd say, but that's the name of the game with this stuff, Ruzinski's. I thought there were actually some decent ones here. This is Milan Hayduk's rookie card. It's an auto rookie card of his, the Todd Vertuzzi auto one, Jason Allison. So some good, Sandy Ozelinch, some really good names in here as well. The goalie coach of Florida, Robert Lang, ex-hab. I mean, some good names, Jitnik. So seven golds and a nice uh, smattering of cards. Also a very cool Jager card. This product has a ton of upside because there are Mario game uh, jerseys in here and uh, auto jerseys, I believe. So it has some upside. I recommend it might open, it might break another box of stuff. Of course, I've done the silver boxes multiple times as you guys know. Hope you enjoyed it guys. I'll be full cards. Do me the honor of sub liking and hashtagging Dryden. I'll be full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City. What is up with the Bertuzzi? That is wild. Thank you.